rub. Um, I'm so sorry it's cold everyone, I hope you're all okay. I can see a lot of shivering happening here. Uh, we'll move on to Tess Ford, um, mother of three girls. Tess went vegan after watching Game Changers and then Dominion a few years ago. This inspired others in her family to change to veganism also, including Tilly, who often joins her mum at slaughterhouse vigils and demonstrations. Tess and Tilly don't believe in speciesism, and mother and daughter both live by the mantra, be kind to all kinds. So let's welcome Tess. don't hold too many positive impressions on me. Squished in our Holden station wagon, fighting with my three other siblings. Car sickness, complaining of boredom. The route is mainly farmland and I remember clearly the many trucks we would pass by carrying sheep and cows crushed together on multiple levels. I recall asking my parents, where are they going? And I remember their answer was that the animals were being moved to other fields with longer and lusher grass to graze on. This made me feel happy and relieved. I felt sorry for them, but I knew that soon enough they would be comfortable again in greener pastures. Fast forward a few decades. I'm vegan now and I know the truth. I'm standing at the gates of Afco Castlecliff, a slaughterhouse in Wanganui. I'm with others who are also there to bear witness. A truck arrives and inside, packed together, are bobby calves. These babies are male cows and they're less than a week old, considered to be surplus or waste products to farm requirements. I reach inside one of the gaps to offer some sliver of comfort to one of the newborns. He clutches onto my fingers and begins to suck me. I can only imagine what he must have been feeling. Fear, confusion. Where was his mum? alongside one of those trucks. This one, however, was empty. It was coming in the opposite direction of Nodonga Gorge, which is where Taylor Preston Slaughterhouse is located. I'm no longer an ignorant 10-year-old being told what I want to hear. I know the truth now, and I cry for the gentle, feeling, intelligent young beings who are now dead, who met their ends in absolute terror after short lives lived in bondage. I'm certain almost everyone if asked whether they would consider themselves to be animal lovers would respond yes. If we ask them whether they support animal abuse, the answer would immediately be absolutely not. We live in a time where options for food, clothing and entertainment are limitless beyond the use of the animals we are entrusted to protect and who we share this planet with. Other animals who like us have just one life and who desperately want to live in peace and without fear. My husband, myself and our three daughters live a vegan lifestyle for the animals. I can say without a shadow of a doubt that I've never looked back since making this choice. My decision after all wasn't a personal one. It never can be when a victim is involved. The decision to align my actions with my morals was in the end the simplest decision I've ever made. <laughs> 